Right, we're here at the Mary River Barrage, and um, as you can see, we've got the same sort of problems with weed infestations here with all this water hyacinth, and there's some salvinia down here. This hyacinth mat's not as bad as what it has been. Um, it's been five kilometres upstream from here, and at the moment, locals reckon that there's an 11 kilometre long mat of water hyacinth um, further up the river. Another weed that's coming in here is we've got paragraphs coming in on the banks here, which comes and um, spreads out across the water. And as I said before, we've got the salvinia here. The purpose of a barrage is to separate um, salt water from fresh water. And really, there should be water flowing over here the whole time so that there's a fresh water inflow into the estuary. But um, as you can see, there's no water flowing over here at all. Um, maybe if this is a metre lower, we'd have some water flowing over here into the estuary, but at the moment there's no water flow over here. Now, um, this has been like this for the last probably five years, there's been you know, very poor flows of fresh water over here. Now, this obviously creates a problem for fish trying to get backwards and forwards between fresh and salt water or, or just trying to move up and down the estuary. So what they've done here is they've put in this fish ladder. Behind us here we've got the fishway, um, which is a vertical slot fishway, which leaves a slot about 200 mils wide for um, fish to migrate up and downstream between the estuary and the rest of the river. The effect of this barrage is previously there used to be you know, an interface between salt and fresh water which would move up and down the river according to flows. But once you put this barrage here, you've got this sharp interface between salt and fresh water. And the problem is, of course, if you put a dam in that reduces these flows even further, then this virtually blocks all these fundamental eco um, ecosystem processes here at the interface between salt and fresh water. These are the things which have the major effect on the estuaries, the Great Sandy Straits, the Ramsar wetlands. Um, this is a crucial point in the river that interacts with the way that the dam interferes with flows um, that will affect the ecology of the whole region. Another impact that happens through here is um, with the changing water levels and the impoundment back here, you've had areas of bank collapses and subsidence all the way back here for kilometres upstream and downstream because of this um, fairly obvious interference with flows.